Hello everyone and welcome to NK Tech. In this episode, I'll be showing you how you can make a 100 watt DC to DC boost converter. It will boost inner voltage from 12 to 15 volts up to about 90 volts. This is the final build. This is how it will look like. It's based on the TL494 passive modulation IC and an LM358 operational amplifier. So here you will have your input 12 or 15 volts. This is the input filtering capacitor. This is the inductor, which is 100 microhenries. This is the current sensing resistor. This is the power MOSFET. It's IR FP250. And it can handle 200 amperes and 30. It can handle 200 volts and 30 amperes. These are the output high frequency diodes. Here you have your high voltage output. This is just a feedback se section, and this is the trimmer port for adjusting the output voltage. So the board will look like this. This is the P single layout, just as the board looks from top. Input, capacitor, TL494, LM358, inductor, current sensing, resistor, power MOSFET, output, diodes, output voltage, and the adjustment resistor. The schematic is as shown here. So the TL494 is configured to operate at about 42 kilohertz. With these parameters, C1 is 1 nanofarad, R6 is 15 kilo ohms. These are the oscillator components. So for feedback, current sensing would be using the downtime pin 4 of the operation amplifier. So, for this resistor, I've chosen it such that when the amperes flows through, it will be sufficient enough to turn on this transistor, which will also in turn turn off this other transistor. So, it's an, there are two inverters connected together, so it means that the voltage here will follow the voltage at the corrector of the second transistor. So, when 5 volts appears here, basically, you will observe that the which is being fed to the an inverting terminal of the operation amplifier. The inverting terminal is being fed 2.5 volts from this feedback section. Pin 14 generates 5 volts, so when you have two 10 kilo resistors are shown connected to ground, there will be a 2.5 volts drop here. So when 5 volts appears here, the output will be high, and whenever the dent time control input receives any voltage above 3 volts, the duty cycle will be reduced or basically the dead time will be increased so this will reduce the current draw by the MOSFET so for voltage feedback I have this configuration whereby you can adjust the potentiometer when the Potentiometer is adjusted, it means that the ratio of resistances will vary and so will the reference voltage. This is being fed to the comparator or the error amplifier of the internal amplifier. And whenever it, its output is high, the PWM is reduced, which also reduces to reduces the output voltage. So everything else is connected as shown here. So the open correctors are pulled up to the VCC where the emitters, both of them, are being used to drive there power MOSFET. So here is the inductor. So it's a boost converter meaning when the MOSFET is turned on, current will beat up within the inductor and there will be magnetic energy stored. So when the MOSFET turns off, basically, all the magnetic energy stored in the inductor will be converted to voltage and since there is no current path to ground, the only way will be through these high frequency diodes which will conduct all the current and change up the output capacitor. So its voltage will continue to grow until the reference feedback voltage is achieved. So this basically the gate source resistor discharges the MOSFET to ensure that it's all were not being driven. So here's the output connector and the input connector. So basically that's all about this DC to DC voltage booster. It's a reliable circuit and it can output 100 watts easily. You can use it for many experiments such as lighting up LED strips or powering up an electric motor from 
robot resources and basically that's all about it don't forget to like this video comment below share and subscribe with your friends and on social media and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next episode